suddenly saw two ladies riding on a bicycle. My two girlfriends and I turned and saw that the two ladies were faceless. There's this particular door, right? They put like joysticks and all that kind of thing. Then I open it and bang, it's a straight drop down two floors. Oh my god. Right. Um Bro, I Is Changi the most haunted place in Singapore? This is your daily catch So we've gotten our community members to submit a bunch of their spookiest stories and we are going to read them and also share a bit of our own experiences. Wow. Thank you. That really adds to the vibe. Today I'm going to be sharing stories regarding Changi. Wow. Which is known as the most haunted area in Singapore. Haunted. Why? It's I'll tell you hospital. why later. Okay. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> How long have you gonna last? Just vibes, guys. I'm trying to create okay. the vibes. Where's the smoke machine, huh? Okay, so our first story submission today is by Brianna. I was back in ITE studying film. My friends and I were shooting a short film and had a night scene to film at the entrance of a terrace house located along Upper Changi Road. And it was one of the last few houses in a corner. Mistake number two. Corner. Corner house. While prepping for the shoot in the late afternoon, two of our friends went to a walkway to smoke and one of them had itchy hands, decided to pick up something that he had found on the grass. It was a cutout of an Indian woman's face from the newspaper's obituary page. <gasps> Oh. and the edges had been burnt. When friend B saw what this person had picked up, they quickly asked him to put it down and they apologised and left. Immediately, friend A and B went to tell our director, who was much older than us and was more experienced in this industry. The next thing we knew, the director quickly gathered Christians and Catholics in our group to quietly go over and pray and after that warned everyone else not to head back there. Okay. Okay. During so the so prayer, the four of us who were there were all holding hands. We heard footsteps near us on the grass. And personally, I had a very light feeling of a hand being placed on my forearm and then a finger go across my neck. <laughs> That'd be sexy, yeah. I was trying to be brave because I know none of my friends could have done this as we were already holding hands. After praying, we went to join the rest of our friends and another friend, in the time that we were away, had an accident with a pen knife he was using and got quite a deep cut in his arm. Then our shoot started and weird things started happening. One of our producers up came up to me and, and said, yes. At first I told her I didn't call her, but my director who was behind her looked at me and shaked his head. I got that he was asking me to lie in order to not spook anyone else out. So I quickly changed my story and told her that I did call her, but didn't need her anymore. After that, during another scene, we suddenly heard a bark from a neighbor's dog that sounded like a woman's cry. And this made us jump. When we took a break, one of our other producers somehow decided to take a walk on his own past the other houses, despite being warned not to go anywhere alone that night. Another friend quickly ran after him and managed to get him back. And he explained that he ran after him because he saw this producer walking away through a mirror, the convex mirror. And I and saw a black shadow following him. So he quickly ran over to save him. When we ended our shoot, it was past midnight. So when we were going home, we all started texting each other to keep each other company. And me being quite scared, asked if someone could call me so that we could talk to each other while I was walking home in the dark. Friend D called me and was talking to me all the way home, but suddenly kept quiet when I was about to end my call because I was right at my doorstep. I didn't think much about it and just said, okay, I'm going to end the call. We said, okay, and hung up. Oh my God, I just got chills. And let me pray for a moment. <laughs> okay. Almost there, let's go. The next day when we were back in school, I then found out from this friend that when I was reaching my doorstep, she heard another voice start speaking through the phone, which is why she paused, but she couldn't understand what was being said. Another friend told us that when he was walking home at the void deck, he heard someone calling out his name and it was in my voice. Since then, I carried a rosary with me for at least two weeks after the shoot and everything was fine. You know, but it's like if you creative writing, I got chills on my legs. Yeah. Oh my I got chills on my whole body while telling this. Ooh. No bad, no bad, no bad, this one. So one of the better submissions. What, what they did wrong was to continue shooting. No, but they have to shoot so what? So many steps where they could have gotten out but of this it. But then it, this director is like, no lah, continue lah. No, they okay. already pray, ma. <laughs> no, as in, because it's the like, same way. You go in, you pray, and then after you just faster shoot and then faster leave, so don't, like don't disturb anything anymore. Yeah, that's why at night, right, you see anything on the floor, don't touch. 
Asset money. No, no money oh. cannot die. You got to choose it. Eh? Like, because sometimes right, it's a prank. It's actually tied to a string then they throw you. No, no, don't, don't say that. Yeah. You know that if you see a red packet on the floor, you're yeah, not yeah. supposed to pick it That's up. That's the worst. You, really? Yeah. What about the muffins? No, no. If there's a red packet on the floor, right? Yeah. It's placed there by like a uh, parent of a daughter who has just passed away and then they want to find like son also can. Daughter or son. Oh, so child. Son. Just a child. And they, they yeah. want to find like a partner for oh. so ghost marriage. Or... Yeah, like a ghost marriage. So who the a guy or girl who picks up the first person who picks up the envelope, right? Is like bound to the. So it's black magic, oh. huh? Wow. So like dating websites are not working for you. Start going around looking. Also, there was this guy on TikTok, right? He posts about it, like he like, he hey, why it. got this red pack? <gasps> and then he picked it up. Then he opened it inside, like there's a few like fifty dollar, like, hundred dollar bills. Then he like, wow. Wow. He like, what should I do if it? Then everybody's like. Like GG bro, you're gonna get haunted. <laughs> then he say, never mind, kill two birds with one stone, money plus bright. Yeah la. No, so what happened to him now? He got couple. I channel. don't know, he after that nothing already la. When we were doing the pre-prod to try to investigate ghost marriages in Singapore, then we actually got to speak to a lady who shared with us some stories. And she said that most of the time the hauntings or the things starts disturbing your family when you reject the marriage. So that like you don't want to go through with it or oh. future generations, right? Never upkeep the traditions. Wait, oh. but how do you have a child with a ghost? As in you uh, went to marry another human, but then you yeah. have maybe you, maybe you already have children. I don't know this story. <laughs> Something become... off about this. Uh. Oh no, like the ghost, like imagine the family tree, then you add one ghost. So now like whatever blood move down, this one is the so ghost is in the tree already. Mm. What, what would you all do if say you really are freaked out, right? And mm. then you, are, you have to go home alone. Like what will y'all do? I call my mother, call someone at home to be on the line with me. Oh. Really? And then you will just make that trip home? Like, I, mean, I, 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 do I, do. I feel like either Stay way, right, you are there. You could call, but actually the ghost intercepts. So the entire time you'll be chasing the ghost. What happened no, to don't scare me. Or you can be like, okay, even though the walk from the MRT to your house is like five minutes only, right? So you say, maybe you ask your mom to come and, mm, and mm-hmm. meet you at the MRT, then walk together with you, right? Mm-hmm. But then, so then your mom appears, is then, really then you all walk, but it's not actually your mom. Guys, this yeah. is why you must have a code word with everyone. Do you all have a code word with your partner? What do you mean? No. <laughs> not like, how to, know, how to know that I am me? How you know a I am me? Ah, so so you all need a password. Oh my God, I think I found a solution. What? Get drunk. No, no, you are outside. It's Good. 10.35. Ah, damn. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you cannot buy this anymore. is where Panda Mart. <laughs> <laughs> Can you deliver after? Yes, 10 yes. Yes. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> it's okay, benefits, right? And it comes in like 10 minutes, you know, because they are Panda Mart. And they deliver anywhere? Over. Like anywhere. MRT? <laughs> yeah, MRT. 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 It's still not So yeah, so I would get like copious amounts of alcohol, don't eat much, to be honest, and then just drink, and then suddenly you can't tell what is fact and why it's fiction That's anymore. That's scarier yeah. no more. So if you're struggling with alcohol, uh, you can call this number down <laughs> below. If you're struggling with ghosts. <laughs> or maybe call the ghost busters. So you got two numbers you need to call. <laughs> yeah, or you order you grab food, then you wait for your <laughs> grab driver, then you all walk, deliver together. But how you know the grab driver? Yeah, yeah you see? No, okay. then why would your friend leave you alone there? Like you're just together. standing at emptying out MRT, you're the only person left there, right? Wow, la, wait. I was there with the, the staff. Yeah, yeah, the staff, yeah. No, the Do staff your Jurong <laughs> people get scared when <laughs> like, you're Jurong going to the end, right? And then everyone are like, then the whole train at night is just you. At night, oh, But that's us for Pasari. Yeah, yeah. Last oh, train. I, love that. I always take the last train. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But when I walk home there, I'll just watch some random shit thing. And it's in the east, right? The haunted area, right? Oh. You know what I'm always afraid of? I don't, like somebody tell me that you should just play the video out loud. Then as you yeah. walk, so it's like got noise, yeah, man. Yeah. Then what, what video? So inconsiderate. No, but I'm scared that like if I play something funny, right? Then I hear something laugh. Oh, oh, don't say that. that. Yeah. 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 And it's not the laugh track. I think the ghost, like, when you, the person who can hear the ghost, right? The ghost is not with mode. the person. Not the ghost is with you. Ah. Oh yeah, no, no. They so it's here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they say the. So it's your wallpaper. No, no, no. Actually, they say the louder the sound, the further away the ghost is. So if you hear those like whispering, right? Then the ghost isn't right next to you. A so if you are listening in headphones now, hello. Is the then then they straight turn it? Then it's you then. But it's like yeah. hello. <laughs> you just jump off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So have you heard about me mix? So recently there was a TikToker called Mel who was filming a video, right? And then while she was talking, 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 she suddenly heard someone call her name like Mel. Then yeah. she she forgot that she was alone at home. So she responded and she was like, yes. 
But in that moment, oh what God. she didn't realize was that she kind of invited or acknowledged the spirit. She tried to continue filming, and then a while after that, she hear again, Melody. <gasps> <laughs> oh, so you, try, you call so her again. Mean. She posted this video la, of this thing happening to her and then everybody in their comments were going crazy and saying, oh, this is a mimic. So what happens is that they will imitate the voices of people you know to try to haunt you. <laughs> or, right. the, or the mother then to like, like, she at home or I forget to bring my key. Yeah, then I cannot get into the house. She's the outside the man. window. Yeah. Oh, the pet cam, the pet cam. Oh, pet yeah. Yeah. Oh, but she's that. the pet. Maybe they no, have a pet like <laughs> someone, like the boyfriend like, Melody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe from the band, you know, you can record your voice. Or one. some pranks like that. that kind. Oh. Have you heard of this kind of thing? Like before the crew films, like a ghost story oh, yeah. or this kind of thing, that movie, they have yeah. to actually like ask for permission mm. from some kind of spirit run. There was a movie that was made about this. Have you seen it before? A Thai, Thai horror film called Coming Soon. Oh, how it was about that? I only remember the end, the end scene. You want to watch the movie before I spoil it? Go and watch it. It's called Coming Soon. It's a Thai film. Okay? And okay, I'm going to tell a bit of the story now to spoil it. So oh, You yeah. can come back at this timestamp. So they, I can't remember the, the full plot, right? But during one scene where like the girl is being strangled or something, like that, right? It ends up actually happening. <gasps> and then the actress dies. <gasps> what? Then from there, I can't remember, they, but they were a bit disrespectful towards her or something like that, right? She comes back as a, a ghost to like haunt them throughout the rest of the filming yeah. and some shit like that. And whoever then watched them, scary because right at the end of the film right it ends with the the ghost kind of like being hung again and then that's the final frame it's like a headshot right they just leave it there and it's completely quiet then you thought the movie end already then the, the credits want to roll right or mm. like, the credits roll then right at the f end right the ghost break fourth wall and stare at you and <gasps> say the like the, the creepy like ritual chant or something like that uh, because the whole thing is about a haunted movie that is yeah. being made and mm -hmm, you are observing mm -hmm. it good what? film what? you good already film. Out, like, the creepy chanting it's just the the ghost <laughs> yeah she like or no, something no, that's no, the name of the it just the says ghost. are you laughing now or something oh, like is that it, is it? they let me watch it during like primary school then I was damn scared what? <laughs> what it was one of the most like, I was horror damn scared. yeah then I remember <clears throat> like I never closed my eyes fast enough right so I saw the ghost face then after that every time I in the toilet and wash my face right I need to wash half first because you need to oh. 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 I don't close my eyes so I need to wash half then I like okay then you the, bling one time how? <laughs> oh. like, ah, yeah. the, okay, okay, okay. there was one particular scene in this film right that is damn unnecessary so like you know usually when they make horror films right you will slowly dip into like silence yeah. to build up for a jump scare right yeah. they just play like some normal music you thought like okay this is the peaceful scene where they're gonna develop the plot right then the head suddenly <laughs> Come on, behind the chair. Oh, 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 like the viral oh, video, uh, you know, scary. the car driving down. Oh, legendary. You know, you, you know last time the super viral one is the rocking chair, like this green uh, color video on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. Then after it's the jump scare. Those that ones. was the exorcist yeah. one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, the time in secondary school, my friend sent me a link. The maze. Then he said, click the link. Then I click, right? That's like a cute puppy dog. And then suddenly that green... Yeah, 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 yeah. I threw my laptop, my laptop break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cause I was like, ah! Then, you know, then my whole screen break. Oh, your friend oh, is doing that. Oh, that's that how bad is the friend angry. you pay for this? Huh? No, she is the no, friend. No, I'm the, the I'm the victim. Yeah lah, then should yeah, the perpetrator should pay. pay? Can you imagine no, la, people get angry when they get Rick Road? Well, lah, if they leave then lah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's my fault for throwing the computer, but Oh, you guess by yourself. No, I'm very hateful somehow. I totally regret it. But speaking of movie production hauntings, Mm. I'm about to describe the Blair Witch Project. So ah. if you've not seen it and you would like to see, it's quite crazy. You can come back at this timestamp. A classic. What's a Blair Witch? No, oh so God. the Blair Witch Project is essentially like this bunch of people that they got lost in the forest, if I'm not wrong. Strange things start happening to them. So mm. what happened was that this whole movie was pretty much so-called improv and the actors didn't really have a script. They were just hired and then they were told to like just react. Mm. Oh. But they didn't know that the things that were happening to them was orchestrated by the crew. Oh. So they genuinely thought like they were being haunted and shit. Oh my God, is that ethical? Uh, I don't know, but they signed, they signed the contract. <laughs> like. Who cares? Like, it was a good movie. It was a great yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Time. And they, uh, if I'm not wrong, they didn't know until like the media tour. <laughs> huh. Are you okay, serious? That's taking a bit far. Yeah, okay. yes, yeah. You know the made the movie oh. last time? Yeah. So if the I domestic helper is 2024, <laughs> you cannot say that anymore. There was a movie called The Mate. It's like some Chinese yeah, Singaporean show. Sure, yeah. I swore to myself I'll never watch it. So anyway, I went to the cafe. Then I went in the toilet, right? Then as I closed ah. the door, they put the poster at the back of the oh. door. Then I closed the door, suddenly the mate face. I 
Freak out. Uh, I remember. Amazing gorilla marketing. That's good. This story is submitted by Daniel Stice. Is so hot. This happened a long time ago. Those days, it was quite common to have class chalets, and mine was at one of the Changi chalets. When it was time to go around two to two thirty a.m., we couldn't get any cab to come near the chalet, so we had to walk along this stretch of quiet white road to get to the main road. It was eerily quiet, but I didn't feel so bad yet, since there were all together six of us. Mm. Got six numbers not Mixing gonna help cat. you. Come on, let's do it. While walking out, out of nowhere from the forested area beside the road, we suddenly saw two ladies riding on a bicycle. This guy friend of mine who was a bit drunk waved and kept called at them. <gasps> hey Chiobu, so late already. Where y'all going? Why never chill? Wow, that sounds so unrealistic. <laughs> no, unless it's what I think it is. The other guys were too tired, so they did not care much to look or engage. However, my two girlfriends and I turned and saw that the two ladies were faceless, oh. grey and blank, but somehow I felt like they were smiling. Oh my god. Oh my both, Jesus. both had long black hair and were in very old torn white shirts. They also did not have any feet. Huh? We knew in that moment that they were not humans, so oh, we tried to shush our friend and advised him not to talk so loudly and to stop talking to them. The next day, this guy felt extremely sick with a very high fever. When he was sober, he also mentioned that he felt being followed on his way home, even in the lift, even though he was alone. He also had difficulty opening the door and eventually his dad even had to wake up to help him get into the house. To this day, I can remember their blank but smiling faces and I wonder who or what they were. Their outfits and bicycle definitely looked like they came from wartime. Moral of the story, don't engage with anyone at night, especially at 2 a.m. in a Ulu place like Changi. No, but I understand the taxi part. I also had to walk out to, <laughs> to get cat. How the hell? Yeah, as much the as Singapore is, is very, very accessible and well connected, right? some parts still Ooh, not, not fully developed yet. Yeah. But I think it's quite interesting because she mentioned that whatever they saw, their outfits and bicycles look like they came from wartime. Mm. Mm. And this is essentially the back history of why the Changi area is so haunted. Because oh. Changi Beach was used as a location for the Japanese operation oh. Sukching. Mm. What happened was during the Japanese occupation, right, they were trying to purge people who were anti-Japanese. So what they did was that they asked all of the Chinese males between the ages of 18 and 50 to go to mass screening centers. The person who was in charge will just decide on a whim, like who is considered anti-Japanese and then will be brought to be executed or you will pass and you will get this chop where you can survive another day. And I think it's quite interesting because in the Changi area, obviously, Old Changi Hospital is one of the more well-known places that are haunted, right? And mm. so Old Changi Hospital back then for a period of time was actually used as a military hospital. And there was even a certain section of it that was taken over by the Japanese who tortured people there, mm. like tortured prisoners of war. So that's why the area is considered to be extremely haunted in Singapore. Did you all go to OCH last time? <laughs> no. Yes, yeah. like, That's the so, apex uh, of horror so, in so, Singapore. So to paint a picture for everybody, right? 15 years, oh, so sad. 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so old. In my youth. <laughs> About 15 years ago, right? OCH was a place that you would go to on weekends to explore with your friends. It's an adventure mm. because no. it's, it's accessible even though it's like kind of like trespassing. And then it's a lot of like, so many stories surrounding it, it's haunted and that kind of stuff. So you weekend, sometimes you go and stay chalet or something, then you're at night, nothing to do, you eat barbecue already, mother, you bought already, right? Mm. Maybe you don't drink, or maybe you drink already, <laughs> then hey, let's go do something crazy. The area you all know is very poorly lit also, right? Yeah. OCH is located on the top of like, kind of like a hill. hill. So at night when you see, uh, you just see like the outline of a very big building on top of a hill, like got castle vibes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then I remember the first time I went, right, with a very big group of my poly friends. Then we all like, oh, let's go out. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. Some people have been before, so not scared, let's just go. <laughs> all grouped together, one big group, then we go in. So then we go and try and find an entrance. There are multiple entrances. Then we finally landed on, on this very long staircase, which we know will lead in already. But we all never bring torchlight. Then we're not sure how to uh, enter this kind of thing. Yeah. Your phone that time, no. That time phone don't Last time phone not like that. Right? Yeah. Oh. So then everybody was like quite hesitant to enter already because we all a bit scared. Ma. And then that. Then these two little boys uh, like, look like, sec like secondary school. Uh, they just appear with like one or two torchlights. Then they, then they 
look at us then we look at them then they all also going in then we like you're going in ah oh, yeah we're going in we know how to go come let's go Whoa. so we just end up following <laughs> this, these two boys in so it's literally like pitch black it's just an abandoned building like, right? it's quite scary then you enter it then you begin to pass through rooms and, and basically there are little missions to check off on so in OCH the most haunted place is the mock which is located like mm. in an external building from external. the main building. Right. Then you also oh. have to find this one particular room where there's this painting or this ritual that has been done before. Then if you can, right, you have to find a hatch to get to the rooftop. Oh. Like there are a bunch of these tiny meters that happen. Oh. Right. So we, we we enter, we start passing through. Then everybody's a bit creeped already and everybody's kind of like pet up. Oh, yeah. uh, very organized. Okay. Of course, yeah, yeah. So have to pair up. Have to pair up. Actually, I think we got like one or two torch like Because I remember I was holding one as well. So then we, we, we begin walking through the corridors. Then you start to see like in, in every room, right? It's like a lot of graffiti. And then people purposely position things or place things in a way to kind of freak you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then there are certain rooms where there's like just one chair in the middle. Mm. And then supposedly that you better don't go and sit on that chair because something will happen to you, that kind of oh. shit. Oh, then legends. we find the staircase and then we begin to go upwards. Obviously it's an abandoned building. And I think the reason why people don't want you to go and explore abandoned buildings is because it might be dangerous. Mm. There might be parts of the building infrastructure that are no longer like, um, Bro, I, I, I right no, no, I, carry on. Oh, yeah. it's loud, Miss no Okay, yeah. continue. So we go, go, go until we reach. There's this particular door, right? And it's closed. It's a two, two, two door, right? And then in the in the latch, right? They put like joysticks and other kind of thing. So it's like kind of like to like I don't know whether it's a prayer or it's to protect or to to to, to prevent people from going. In. Then we like, I what the hell lah? What could it be, right? Because back then we used to pee, then we don't care. Then like I I like I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. That kind of person. So then I go open the door. Then I open it. I pam. It's a straight drop down two floors. Okay, that's yeah. Oh my god! So if you anyhow you have you have if you walk through right, you have just like fallen down. What? Yeah. So then we like a bit freaked out already. Then we all like whoa, and then we break the joystick to enter to open that door. Oh. So so then after that everybody a bit like mm. right next to that door there's another room and it's like an operating theater or something like that like, I can't remember. So we decide to just enter it. Then this is where we start to experience things. So basically when we enter the room. Right in the middle, right? There's a pile of burnt ash and like stuff like that, right? Like, and you can see like a ritual of sort has taken place here. Mm. And once we were in the room, everybody without really articulating it, we all sensed something different. Mm. The air was extremely still and it was very, very cold. And usually what people say is that when you suddenly feel a, 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 drop, a in drop in temperature, it means that something is there. So we all give each other like eye signals as we are walking away, right? Then I hear my friend whisper something, but I, I wasn't very sure what. Then, then he said like, never mind, right? let's just continue. Then we walk along, we cross some bridges, I flashlight into the trees, like, hey, whoa, if I flashlight inside, I got thing, right? <laughs> I flashlight inside, but nothing, whatever. <laughs> like. In the end, it ended up being very fun. And then we go back to the chalet. Then he basically tells us that like, after we left that room, he was the last person and he could feel and hear something continuing to follow us the entire way. But he don't <gasps> want to tell anybody else because he's scared. Oh. Yeah, and he's done to freak people out also. Oh, but he stopped somewhere at some point and stopped. He just following. continued following us, but I think after we left, then 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 he stopped. Uh. He's oh. the one that tell me about the wall. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the 180 degree rule. Yeah, yeah. So he just uh. abide by his rule. <laughs> then he <laughs> tanked the last last wall of defense. That kind of adventure right, and the feeling that I got from there, right, we don't really have anymore. Yeah, it's kind of lost already. And and back then, ghost hunting used to be a quite a popular weekend activity. Like we would go to very really? famous places like Red House mm. uh, <laughs> in Passeris, right? Yep, yep, Loyang. Uh, White House green in Pongo. Yeah. Pongo. Green House also have. That's uh, also a green house. But they, they, what, what do they do? As a kid? Uh. Trap light. Girl. <laughs> 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 yeah, far East Flora. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> accelerate, uh, accelerate photosynthesis. Okay, so yeah. And then there were like other famous places like Lim Chu Kang Cemetery. Wow, the Red House was like a legendary horror place for like, people who live in pastries or maybe east siders. So I did some research on it, right? So the red house is a one story kind of bungalow-ish kind of thing that is covered in red oh, bricks. That's okay. why it's called the red mm. house. And what makes it scary is these two stone lions outside. Oh. And then what the legend is that at night, right? the lion's eyes will glow red. Huh? That's, that's the urban legend about yeah. it. Oh. So the story that was circulating around when I was a school kid is that these two boys, as they were walking inside the red house, right? One of them saw the eyes light up like red. And then he looked at his friend and then his friend is just standing there. Huh? What like not mean? moving? Like he's paralyzed. <gasps> and then he's like, hey, what happening? And then the guy what is happening? like, I can't move. 
But he can talk. But how can yeah. his mouth can? He can't. 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 I don't know how he like kind of mm-hmm. broke that mm-hmm. spell or something, but guy was petrified. You know why he cannot petrified? Why? Because the he never liked the cigarette. So huh? the correct procedure at Red House, right, is that when you go there, you must light a cigarette for the thing. Uh, so you must light one cigarette, then you put at the lion mouth. mouth. Then you can enter. Oh, that seems disrespectful. Then <laughs> by the time the thing finish, you must get out. Uh. Then when you get out, must you remove the cigarette? Just let him finish. No, it will finish. It will burn finish. No, no, like the cigarette in the lion mouth how? It's like yeah, a tray now. Oh, probably, yeah, maybe it will drop or whatever. I don't know. No, nobody, the lion nobody is finished the Chinese lion. Yeah, it's like those kind of like, you see a temper, that kind of one. One with a kid at the lion. Nobody's going there, the lion's mouth is like, <laughs> but surprisingly, what I found out about the Red House doing some research for this episode is that it's now a childcare center. Is he? Oh, oh my god! In 2014, oh it became a childcare center. They are, they are oh. at Atas preschool now, apparently. Honestly, preschool. I personally never been to Red House before, but my friends have went. Now you can go, lah. Yeah, and they and they basically told me <laughs> that like <laughs> when they when they went to try right, what happened was when they all went there, right? They liked the cigarette, they put it there. Then he's the smallest fella, ma. Mm. So they thought we just help you over the fence first, ah. <laughs> so they pick him up then they push him over right the moment his feet touch the ground right he hear a f- loud scream from behind him <gasps> from coming from the house he turn around right then they all see one old woman standing at the at the entrance of the house screaming like a creepy shriek into the, like into the air person. like that. Then he panicked, he scrambled, scrambled, tried to like get back oh, no. over the, the thing. Then I think luckily like his his brother and friends managed to pull him back over. Huh, but so the secret then doesn't they, work. Then uh. they faster <laughs> Don't know. Okay, so thank you for watching this. Let us know if you want to hear more horror stories. Uh, like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Or it might not be us. Oh, okay. we just start dun, saying dun, names. Dun, we, we start whispering dun, names. Dun. Then we can put in the background. Oh, mm. we choose the most like popular names. Jaden. Hey, John. Oh, say John. Say Jaden. No, no, you must, you must say like, you know, the Mel. Like that, like the a bit creepy. Oh. Jaden. Ben Wong. Xavier. Don't whisper. Like say the name, oh. but creepy. Melody. Do you say don't whisper? <laughs> <Yalla. laughs> opposite. <Man>. Jaden. That was easy. I know, you must stop. Right, then you must have that. No, you do that, right? But then you don't need to do this if you're already using, you're changing the volume of your voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael. What's the point? <laughs> Brian. Oh, that's oh, cool. that sounds legit. <laughs> you only get the brief on this one. Wow. Oh, okay. Jasmine. Brian. <laughs> and time for dinner, hey. Brian. <laughs> hey, hey, your phone got game now. Hey, what are you say? <laughs> what do you say? Hey, hey, your phone got game. No, can we just upload this? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Put at the end or ask trainers. Yeah. <laughs>